What is up guys, Rick Kakis here, and today we have some extremely interesting, and also because the Wrath of the Machine is the current weekly featured raid, extremely timely information to go over today, and that is the best weapons in Destiny for DPSing Axis, the weapons in Destiny that will do the most damage to Axis, the final boss of the Wrath of the Machine, in a damage phase. Now the very interesting part about this topic is that until only a few days ago, we thought we knew what those weapons were. We thought we knew what the best weapon for DPSing Axis was. Again, until only a few days ago, until only, in fact, yesterday, when things started to change. So, let's discuss this. For the longest time, everyone thought that the best weapon for DPSing Axis was the Dark Drinker Exotic Sword. And there's a very good reason for that. The way Axis is constructed and the way his hitboxes are is such that you can hit multiple hitboxes at the same time. Now this is extremely important for explaining the best DPSing weapons on Axis. So each of his legs and his body have different hitboxes and the reason being is so that you don't have to hit a certain leg, right? You don't have to go up to a certain leg and if you're shotgunning the wrong leg, it wouldn't do any damage. So each one of those legs, each one of his appendages, all of that stuff has hitboxes and you can trigger multiple hitboxes at the same time. And again, that is why the Dark Drinker is so good. When you're doing the Dark Drinker's exotic sword attack, the swinging attack, you can hit multiple legs with one swing, just massively increasing your damage over a normal enemy that only has that one hitbox. Now, the reason things have changed recently is because of Reddit user Pantsman1084. He said that, hey, if you have a rocket launcher with cluster bombs, you can out DPS the Dark Drinker. Now, this was backed up and tested by Jelly Crew Gaming and further tested by me, Astrocross Gaming. Uh, he was actually in the same raid group as me. Blessius was there too. We did a lot of testing. We ran a lot of numbers and we found some very, very interesting stuff. Guys, this video, especially actually for new players, this is going to be extremely helpful. So, what the heck is going on with these rocket launchers? Well, the same process and why I took the time to explain the multiple hitboxes is going on here. A rocket launcher, when it hits Axis because of its blast radius, it can affect those multiple hitboxes at the same time. You're getting the damage spread out and multiplied each time it hits those different hitboxes. So, when you have a rocket launcher with cluster bombs, you are getting the absolute maximum effect of this multiple hitboxes strategy. So your rocket will hit and then it will explode into those multiple cluster bombs. Each one of those cluster bombs will further explode and each one of those explosions can be large enough to hit multiple hitboxes. So you will see a ridiculous amount of numbers actually popping up because you're hitting it with the explosion, it's creating more explosions, and each one of those more explosions is hitting multiple hitboxes, the numbers just fly by. Now that is very impressive, but can that actually out DPS the Dark Drinker against Axis? Well, we tested it. In fact, we tested several different weapons all against Axis in a phase three teleportation. So he's teleported two times already. We have the longest damage phase. We have none of us dealing any damage whatsoever against Axis prior to that. So none of us threw any of the SIVA bombs. And then we're using no other factors as well. No weapons of light, no tethers. This is just the weapons we're using versus Axis. So let's see what happens. Astacross is using the Warpath, the future War Cult rocket launcher that was sold last week, and it has Cluster Bomb as the main perk we're looking for in getting this DPS going. 
I'm actually using the Vault of Glass rocket launcher, the Hezen Vengeance. And the reason being is because it uses the uh, Mini Merv perk. Now this is basically functionally exactly like cluster bombs, but there's actually less explosions, but they do more damage. So a lot of people were very interested in seeing if especially the Hezen Vengeance can out DPS everything. And then Burgers XP, one of our party members, is using the Dark Drinker. All of us again are testing it with completely sterile damage with no other factors, you are just seeing the weapons. So in the first damage phase, we got some very interesting results. I came in on top with 387,000 damage. After that, right after that, we had Burgers XP with the Dark Drinker, 350,000 damage, and in last place, Astacross with 312,000 damage. So, first test, there you have it. Seven rounds from the Hezen Vengeance, seven rounds from the Warpath. Seems like the Hezen Vengeance is out DPSing everything, and heck, I just out DPSed a Dark Drinker, which is pretty insane. However, um, there's a little bit more crazy stuff going in the background and that's why the pros test this stuff more than once. So during the second damage phase that we tested this, again with all of those factors the same, I hit him seven times, although the damage numbers were pretty substantially different. This time I didn't do that much, 330,000 damage, Azacross was killing it with Three, almost 400,000 damage and Burgers did get 400,000 damage. That disparity in damage is actually very important. You can see from the background gameplay, I hit him every single time. It's not like I missed a rocket. And so why am I doing less damage? Well, it's the nature of the weapons we're testing. Things work out very, very well when all of the cluster bombs, or in my case, mini mervs, actually explode and actually hit those multiple hitboxes, but also sometimes just by how you hit Axis or by how the mini mervs explode outwards, they don't do nearly as much damage. So there is that degree of uncertainty. However, moving on, the third damage test echoes the results of the first damage test. This time, we up the ante. I put on the Alchemist Remnants, uh, Warlock exotic chess pieces that actually give you more heavy ammo storage. This combined with legs that give you extra rocket launcher ammo means that I was able to have eight rounds, which is the maximum you can get, I believe, in the Hezen Vengeance and Azacross was doing the same, he had 8 rounds, and of course our Dark Drinker user Burgers was just maxing out his ammo with a synth and just going for it. And uh, as you can see by the damage results after all is said and done, the Hezen Vengeance comes out barely on top with 405,000 damage, the Dark Drinker is just barely behind that with 402,000 damage, and then lastly, Astacross with almost 340,000 damage. So, from these results, it would seem that the Vault of Glass rocket launcher, that the Hezen Vengeance would be the best weapon in Destiny to damage Axis. And that is a very interesting result, that is something that we did not know before. We did not know this before. And again, multiple tests showed that in terms of pure weapon DPS, the Hezen Vengeance and the Mini Merv was out damaging the Warpath relatively consistently. Again, there was some discrepancies. There was certainly some times that Astacross was out damaging me. And actually, it is very interesting that he said that he had a couple of seconds at the end. The problem with the Hezen Vengeance is that although it does look like it does more damage, it shoots very, very slowly. So, as was telling me that he had time to actually get some sniper rounds off if he had wanted to. However, for the test, we didn't do that. We just did the eight rounds on the rocket launcher. So when all is said and done, because of your extra time you have with the Warpath or potentially even with other rocket launchers that shoot even faster, and you can mix up the rest of the rounds with a sniper rifle, you may eke out your damage overall than the Hezen Vengeance. But again, when we're talking pure weaponry, it looks like the Hezen is on top. However, with all of that being said, that isn't necessarily what you should take away from this video. 
What you should really take away is that a rocket launcher with cluster bombs is doing comparable damage, in fact often more damage than the Dark Drinker, than what was previously thought as the best weapon in the game to DPS access. So, spread this to the LFGs. You know, tell your friends, tell whoever you need to tell, because I've seen so many LFG posts saying, must have Dark Drinker. No, must have Hezen Vengeance, actually, or must have Warpath with cluster bombs, or even many of the other rocket launchers in the game with cluster bombs would be very appropriate. In fact, you may want to look for a rocket launcher with a very high rate of fire, so you can pump those out extremely fast. And this information should make the Wrath of the Machine more accessible for more people because again the requirements on what you need to use for weapons has just widened quite a bit. However, I do have some warnings at the end of the video. It's not the be all and end all to use a rocket launcher. When we're testing them in sterile environments with a lot of restrictions with no other factors, these are the damage numbers and they are very interesting. However, when you're actually damaging Axis and you're using a rocket launcher, there is some things that can go wrong. Dark Drinker in the end may end up being more consistent. Firstly, it's a lot easier to get weapons of light with a Dark Drinker. You put the bubble right at Axis and you go to town. With a rocket launcher, you're going to have to be going in and out of the bubble and that can take up some time. Furthermore, a rocket launcher is dangerous to use. You can shoot yourself by accident, you can blow yourself up. It is a little sketchy. Also, a rocket launcher is good but not phenomenal for taking down the captain, whereas the Dark Drinker can take down the captain uh, extremely quickly. So just keep those factors in mind. There's more than just outright pure DPS when considering the best weapons to use against Axis. But again, in terms of DPS, your options have just been made a little bit more numerous. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. And if you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That's linked in the description down below, as is my Twitch channel, which you can also follow. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day.